What's up everybody, Crypto Muscle, back to you with another YouTube video, and uh, oh yes, internationally renowned and worldwide syndicated because the phenomenon is here, and uh, did I forget, did I forget, oh yeah, of course, the fake lasers will always be here. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I got a double treat for you guys today. Because as I was talking about, I alluded to the other day, if you've been following along my videos, that, um, of course you know, the Crypto Flower herself has talked about Crypto Muscle being the biggest dick in the space, right? And of course, I always say to her, thank you, because I'm a gift that keeps on giving, just as the flower's gift keeps on giving with those big naturals that she flaunts in her videos. And so, with that, I promise you guys another pleasure, all right? And I've spoken to her, all right? And again, I've asked this chick, coincidentally, <laughs> uh, you know... If there is a dick in the space today, who would that be? And she said, you know what? It is the crypto muscle. And I said, why so? Or how so? She said, you know why? She said, let's just skip to the point. He is the biggest dick in the space too. And I was just like, holy shit. That resonated in me. And you know who that is? The crypto chick herself. Oh, yes. Another one. That's two right now. That have called me the biggest dick in the space. And I say, you know what, ladies? Thank you very much. Now, let's get down to business. Woo! That's double the pleasure right there for you guys. All right. <laughs> Short little mini story on Crypto Chick. Man, her last video that she did before uh, kind of taking a hiatus and re, re uh, you know, learning. And, you know, before her, uh, now that she's on a hiatus, she's kind of rediscovering YouTube again and noticed the biggest dick in the space right now, obviously, yours truly. But yeah, her last uh, video be before she took that one down was um, when BitConnect went down, right? And she was really, emo she was a wreck, an emotional wreck on that video. And she couldn't believe it. I mean, she could not believe when BitConnect went down. It was crazy. But yeah, so anyhow, aside from all that, here we are, Ethereum. Just hanging on at $4,000. Is it going to go lower? Could be, but it's been kind of going sideways. It's, they've been fighting. The people that's been owning and buying and selling Bitcoin and all that. Or not Bitcoin. Ethereum. Is uh, that this thing has just been staying above 4000 Right? You, you, we've seen big fluctuations in Bitcoin, right? I mean, 53000 that's low lower than it's been lately. 4,000, yeah, we've been seeing a hug 4,000 to 4,500 for the longest time with the ups and downs, so not too bad. And so anyhow, where am I leading to? Well, obviously, it's the talk of the town. We're going down. The ETH Platinum Way, right? Silver and Black Attack. Team Anonymous. It's all about the crypto community at large. All right? That's what they say. Anonymity at its finest. Doesn't matter whose team you play for. All right. They take on anybody and everybody. They don't discriminate. That's what I like about it. We don't discriminate. That's why I like being a part of this team. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being a part of this? Nothing. All right. But this is ETH Platinum. All right. ETH Platinum is a long-term solution to your earnings, all right? You want to earn more ETH over time? This is the long-term way to do it. If you're looking to go uh, make money overnight, then this is not the place to do it. <laughs> That's what the platforms and hypes and all that are for, right? This right here is something that you build and earn over time with ETH, all right? You go in with your ETH, all right? And you're gonna purchase these credits all right, and these credits is going to put you in a place of ETH Platinum's holdings. And you're going to be staking away these credits. Bacon, earning, 
uh, however you want to call it, all right? And throughout time, as the days go by, and possibly weeks go by, right, too, right? We just take it a day at a time, you know, analyze the market, right? And uh, market could go up, market could go down, people could come in, people could come out. That's what it's all about. And throughout all that, your credits is what you hold, right? And however many credits you have, you're going to be credited with more ETH as people come in and out, as the markets fluctuate up and down. And, you know, it's Sunday today, so obviously there's not a lot of activity going on today because people are out of town. It's not a business day, you know, so... Lots of things, all right, that are not in play at the moment because it's the weekend. So when Monday rolls around, we could see this again and be like, oh, okay, you know, there's going to be some activity, right? And the activity is, well, Ethereum, all right, well, is on the rise. No matter the market conditions, it's on the rise. And that's what it's truly about. And so... Right now, when you look at it, yeah, prices are a little bit low, but that's everything in crypto right now, all right? Took big, Bitcoin took a big dump, and it really trickled down to almost everything else. Ethereum, I mean, when you look at it, or the overall scheme of things, it took, a, it took a dip as well, but not a massive dip like everybody else. I mean, we're talking... Uh, four hundred, five hundred dollar swing on ETH, which is not that big, right? Whereas Bitcoin, it took a, you know thousands of dollars that dropped, right? We're talking high sixties, mid to high sixties, and all of a sudden now it's down to low fifties. That's that's a big difference. That's a huge difference, and a lot of these cryptos out there. You know, they, they kind of trend along and follow along the Bitcoin path. And so if Bitcoin fails or falls, not fails, but falls, then everything else kind of just falls with it, right? And it could kill little tiny, you know, shit projects out there, right? And because when you look at it, I mean, you know, 14,875 and it just continues to grow of different cryptos out there. What was it, like 14,800 are terrible or just <laughs> won't get off the ground because next thing you know, a lot of them will die because of this, right? Just ask uh, T. W. Peterson about, you know, crypto Kirby and stuff, you know? Ask him about Kirby, right? Ask him about shit, shit projects like Apollo, garbage crap like that, right? Contingent upon the Bitcoin rise and fall. Well, shit, you know what? Let's take a look at it. Let's talk about the Bloods projects out there, right? The Bloods that bleed crypto. All right, let's see here. Bloods projects. You know, guys like Crypto Project. Guys like uh, Music. You know, that buys into this crap. Look at this. Massive dump. All right. Of Eureka. You know, the, the Eureka is a, that garbage Polaris group project, all right, of the failed My Passive Trade. They should have just closed up shop a long time ago, but they keep dragging people along that, oh, shit, right? But look what's having holding power, Ethereum, all right? So going back to this, with that holding power, Look at it. We just watched this thing rise three thousand dollars just right now. Started this video at six ninety six, something like that. It was, it was a uh, mid six nineties, and look at it. Now it's already going to touch seven hundred pretty soon. But the point of it is that this has a lot of holding power, and all that holding power over time is it's going to continue to rise because Ethereum is on the rise. And we're right in the midst of it right now. And that's why it's been holding at 4,000-ish, right? This thing, unless the bottom falls out again like last year, 
when Bitcoin dropped to 3,800 bucks and you, you could see Ethereum for under 100 bucks at that time last year, right? This is like early 2020. We probably won't even see those numbers again. I mean, look at it, $4,000. And, you know, there's still speculation that Ethereum could be 7,500 bucks, possibly even $10,000, right? Which is very, very realistic, all right? And not some bullshit stuff like Apollo that could go to a dollar, which will never happen. Not million token crap, where million token is going to be a thousand dollar coin. It's never going to touch a hundred again. All right. So when you look at it, this is this is the crypto that's going to be lasting over time, and it's already showing its holding power. And we're right in the midst of it. We stake our claims with these credits. And as we stake our claims with these credits, we're going to be collecting ETH over time. And time and time and time again. And that's all, this is what it's all about. And uh, my strategy with this is that um, I think once we start seeing the price kind of start going back up again, I'm going to look at this right here. Well, I'm going to look at everything. I got to look at how the the buy and sell price is. I got to look at everything. All right. But basically, I'm looking for this to go over 5 ETH. And once this thing goes over 5 ETH in terms of value, I'll start playing the shaving game and I'll shave a little bit off the top here and collect you know, a little bit more dividends to withdraw. All right, shave, just a shave, you know, a little bit of a sliver here, you know, a couple hundred sh sliver, maybe a hundred sliver, you know, something, a little bit of a sliver. And, uh, you know, because it, it, it's time to start, for me personally, collect a little bit of my divs rewards, right? But I've been letting it ride this whole time. I, I wanted to show you guys where it's at since I first started Saturday, the Saturday before last. All right, Saturday was yesterday, but the Saturday before that was when this thing launched. 6 a.m. Pacific Coast time. Saturday ago. Looking at what, a week ago now. Eight days ago. So it's not bad. And uh, again, this is long term. So we're going to be riding this thing for a long time. And look at it. Just like that, over 700,000 now. And you can see this. I've watched this thing. This thing's already up to 703. This was sitting at right at 7 flat. So, yes. Take notice. Right? Rise in ETH will raise this. It's going to give the rise to this value as well and this value. Right? People come in and out. So you got price appreciation, price valuation. Right, all that comes into play. And then people come in and out because they need the money or they change their mind or they want to come back in again after they've been gone for a little bit. That's what this is all about, the flexibility of this. There's no lock-in with this. You lock yourself in. You can take yourself out anytime you want. Right? You have the keys. You just, you just, hit, you just hit some buttons, you're in. Hit some buttons, you're out. Not tied to some 14 day, 30 day crap like that BNB &B garbage tree contract, right? You're not you're not tied down to that stuff. And when you look at the long run, you're going to be getting a lot more of this with this in the long run as everything goes up again. And uh, we're right in the middle of the thick of that, and we will reap. The rewards of that so that's eth platinum for you all right and it doesn't matter what color the community is it could be gold it could be platinum but tina anonymous it respects anonymity and respects all people the whole crypto community is right here for everybody that's what anonymous is all about so come on board, guys. It's okay. You're anonymous. So comment down below. Links down below. 
and I'll see you next one.